Okay, we are here, I'm here, <laughs> with John Knowles, we, because there's Anita, and Isabel, and I'm very happy to be here to talk with John, because uh, he's a great player, but also he has many stories about music, about musicians. So the first question is about Lenny Grove. Oh, yes. Well, we had moved to Nashville in maybe a month, and Chet called me up and said, get down here to the office, Lenny Bro is here. And I'd heard his records, but I'd never seen him play. And uh, so for, for a while, he actually lived at our house. We had just, we were staying in someone else's house and he came and lived with us and then we found him a place to stay. And one of the things that I always thought was amazing about him, he found ways of doing things that nobody else had looked for. So that, for instance, you know, this chord that we have in the book, C, and you make C major seven, but then he would make add nine. Then he would come way up here, play C E. Yeah. And there would be these real ethereal, like um, yeah. like paintings. And as a matter of fact, his uh, his songbook that he had would have the chords on this page, and over on this page would be a painting, Renoir, Degas, and he would say, "These are the chords." but this is how it sounds. Oh, wow. So it'd be my funny Valentine and the voting party. Okay. <laughs> you know, so, and, and he always had uh, unusual ways of doing things. Um, he showed me one time, if you played uh, like the chords to Blue Moon, and he would keep the C on top for every chord. And then he would put the D on top for every chord. And it made it made you find unusual voices like you would play uh, for here yet for here. Uh, <laughs> same chords but new but always keeping a note on top. Yeah, okay. And then he showed me also uh, things with rhythm. He would play this is like a bass okay. and a rhythm guitar player. So. Be a singer. And he, he taught his ring finger to kind of stand out, but also to play off the beat. He would play one, two, three, four, over he'd play strong very strong finger. So he's playing three notes, but there's two in the accompaniment. Okay. And when you do that, you can sound like a singer. It's like a that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. The triplet over the quarter note. Okay, okay. And then he also, he knew flamenco, he knew classical, okay. he knew jazz, you know, he music, listened to piano you know, folk players, music, uh, folk music, music, everything. Played like Chet, it's played like, like Jerry. You know. okay. Yes. And so when you add all things together, plus uh, an imagination that was so big, you know, you, you, I was always amazed. I never heard him play the same thing twice. Yes. Uh, I remember, uh, we've all done this where you're in a club and somebody makes a request. Well, he played My Funny Valentine mm -hmm. and somebody came up to him and said, do you know My Funny Valentine? And instead of saying, I just played it, he said, can you sing it? So he made the guy sing it. <laughs> and then he played it again in a different key, way completely different arrangement, you know. It just knocked me over when he did that. He was always having fun with it, a beautiful sense of humor. My kids loved him. But he was a fragile person, you know. Life was hard for him, and uh, but music was beautiful, and he he gave us that. Okay. Why why is so important for guitar and bro? For I, I why think guitar player not to listen. When I watched a lot of guitar players watch Lenny, and none of us could get everything, but each one of us got something. Sometimes he would play for Chet, and Chet would record him and ask him questions. And Chet would hear two or three things and use that. I would hear something else and use it. So if you look at 15 of us and put it all together, you'd see half of Lenny. Mm -hmm. His imagination was just boundless. Uh, to me, the interesting harmonies and those rhythms that pulled, then he could be like a hot jazz player, which I'm not. I was just amazed when I heard that. But nobody had the whole thing, but he sure did. Uh, and I think he's not through inspiring us yet, even though it's years later. I, I like to, to think uh, about 
Lenny like Bill Evans of the guitar. I think it, it's not my idea, it's the idea of many you know, people. One of the things I think about is knowing Chet Atkins would be like knowing uh, Thomas Edison, the inventor, mm -hmm. you know, or Henry Ford, real practical. Knowing Lenny Bro is like knowing Vincent Van Gogh, just, you know, everything is in his imagination only the way he saw it. But once he's done it, we see it too. But he opened the window and helped us see something that we wouldn't have seen otherwise.